Hello again, Dominic Trofran, and welcome to another video. And uh, this one is going to be something actually be a little bit different. I'm actually going to be talking about a program of mine that I've enjoyed. And before you say it's not Doctor Who, uh, Doctor Who is not the only program I, I watch, you know, all the time. Uh, but I'm actually going to be talking about a program that I did mention at the end of the last video I just did, um, the Big Bang Theory. Now, uh, for those who don't know, the Big Bang Theory is an American comedy that started back in September 2007. And it's uh, still on after all that time, which is crazy. And I can't believe it's um, been on for almost 10 years. It's just insane, really. Um, but basically what the Big Bang Theory is, it's obviously an American comedy about five men who are obviously into science and stuff. And they're sort of like, you know, geeky and stuff, you know, like, like you know, video games, comic books, you know, the, the attend Comic Con, all that sort of stuff. And uh, the show's definitely developed uh, extremely well over these past nine to ten years. Um, and it's amazing to see how much creativity has been in the programme. Um, and when the programme started, it was definitely something different. It was, you know, different, unusual, and it was never... Something like that was never seen before. And when you heard about this programme back then, about this programme called The Big Bang Theory, it kind of intrigued you. It really, really did. And um, the story basically is obviously these four men who are, you know, into science and stuff. Um, but they also like, you know, like the video game stuff. They like their comic books, all that sort of stuff. And obviously they have, it involves um, obviously Leonard and Sheldon's neighbour Penny. Who Leonard ends up having a bit of a crush on her um, from the start of the programme. And um, all sorts of stuff happen over, over time. And it's definitely an interesting um, thing to watch. You know, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but that's just the way, you know, it goes and stuff. And over time we've seen, you know, the, like, you know, the relationships grow. We've seen the character development, um, expand over time. And that's one thing I loved about it. Because when you go back to the main idea with the four, you know, the four guys, um, Leonard, Sheldon, Howard and Raj. Um, Leonard was obviously very, very, you know, geeky and dorky. He was obviously a little bit antisocial, but he was still social. And um, over time, he definitely grew um, and really got over his boundaries that um, were needed. And that was a thing that, that was interesting. Uh, because obviously, him and Penny ended up, you know, they ended up going out. Then they broke it off. Then they went out again. And then they ended up getting married and stuff. Um, Sheldon, obviously, at the start of the series, showed a bit of kind of artistic Aspergic uh, traits, um, which the programme doesn't really specify that, but you can see that. Um, and they they show his artistic um, traits, not in a bad way, but in an understanding way. And I, I, I quite like that myself because I'm on the artistic spectrum too. I know many people as well that are on the, on the spectrum as well. And over time it's, it's shown that Sheldon has improved and, you know, got out of his little ball of, you know... Um, in his little area, he's, you know, he's expanded that, you know, obviously he's with Amy now, been together for a few years, you know, obviously they've, you know, they've had their, you know, times together and obviously he did propose the end of series, he did propose to, the, to at the end of series 10, which we will find out what happened, what will happen in series 11. Um, Howard was sort of like the geeky, antisocial, like, ladies man, who thought he could get any woman that he could do with any of these strange child lines he does. And then over time, he's definitely gone out of that out, out of his shell, and shown that he can be a respective, you know, mature person. Obviously, he's with Bernadette now, been with her for many, many years, and they've got a child now. You know what I mean? Um, it was still not shown off on screen, but apart from that, you know what I mean. And then you got Raj, who is definitely shown a lot. I think out of all of them, because from series one, he couldn't talk to women because he was so shy and very, very scared and stuff. And then over over these past few years, seasons and years. Um, you shown you it's it's shown that he's able to talk to women without alcohol, which was very very unusual. Um, but also one thing that is actually not really mentioned anymore is in the first ever episode of Big Bang Theory, Raj wears a red hat or red cap, and it's never ever seen it after that. I just thought of that, you know, now. Um, and then obviously you've got the the women, you know, obviously you've got Penny who's, who's you know married to Leonard. Um, you've got uh, Benedict who's married to uh, Howard and you've got Amy who's, who is in a relationship with Sheldon whereas Raj, he's gone through different women throughout the programme 
but obviously not not with anyone. But then you've also got Stuart, who became a, kind of a, a main character to the group, and I quite like Stuart. Um, I think he was a great character, and I I like um the way his characters going and stuff. It's just absolutely funny. Um, but I think overall the show's definitely shown what it can give the audience. Um, like I said, it's crazy to think that it's almost ten years. This September coming, ten years since that program came on, started. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Really, really, it's crazy. Um, and I think there's a lot of stuff that has made it absolutely, really, really interesting. I think that when you look back, the first few, first, first few seasons are absolutely amazing. Really, really good. Um, series 3 and 4, again, absolutely amazing. Um, series 5, it reaches up there. Um, series 6, um, you know, still reaches a high spot. I think it's really, really good. Series 7, good. Series 8, yes, good. Um, even though it kind of, you know, feels kind of like it repeats itself sometimes. Series 9, I think, was good. And Series 10 was okay, I think. You know, um, you know what I mean? Um, and the problem with it is it's been on for 10 years, which is crazy. We're going to go to Series 11 in a few months, and obviously Series 12. Does Big Bang have a future still? After series twelve, because even though I love the program, and I probably and um kind of offend people saying, "Oh well, I love the program," you know what I mean? Um, you know, don't make fun of the program. I'm not doing it. I love that program. Thing is, everything has its end. You know what I mean? Um, whether or not it's a program, whether or not it's a technology, whether or not it's a human being like us, we all have our end. That's the thing about it. The day we die, that's the end of us. Programs have gone through the same thing, and people are kind of scared that Big Bang Theory could end up being another Friends. Now, Friends again, I was an interesting program I used to watch when I was younger, but it used to get repeated so 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 many times. You know, um, once you watch it, I think it's like you know, it, it's kind of like the old thing again, um, and that was a problem with that. The reason Friends ended was really high demand from the, the cast who wanted more money. Basically what happened at, in series 10 of, season 10 of Friends, um, the whole cast was getting 10, sorry, uh, the, the whole cast was getting $1 million, uh, dollars, $1 million for every episode that they did. And because obviously they were earning so much money from it, they wanted obviously another series. And basically the producers and the, you know, scientists said that look, says, we're unable to give you any more, but we'd love to do another series of this. And basically said, no, well, if we said, well, if we're not getting enough money, if we're not getting the same amount in series 11, this new series that's coming up, we won't do it if we don't get the money. And that's what ended up happening. They got too greedy. And obviously in the world, everyone wants money. That's just the way it goes, you know what I mean? But sometimes too much money, I think sometimes it can be... Uh, a part where t there can be too much money, where people get too greedy, you know, that's the thing about it, where the program, where the program turns about making a profit over the, over, over the enjoyment, you know, you know what I mean? And that is one issue that I'm kind of scared of, is the Big Bang Theory is going to end up being another Friends, again, after 10 seasons of that program, which is crazy again, you know what I mean? Um, that's what, kind of kills it and I honestly would say season 12 because again it's it's renewed for two more seasons I would say season 12 should really be the last one and I think they should really wrap it up because if you do another season like season 13 then that becomes a problem because it's going to be the same stuff over and over and over again and that's what kind of scares me sorry uh, that's what kind of scares me that sort of stuff um is you either give it a good ending or you kind of milk the franchise so much. Um, and that's what kind of scares me. Because everything has its amazement up to one point. You know what I mean? Um, and after a while it's like, oh well it's the same stuff over and over again. Um, and that's what kind of kills it for a lot of people. Now I know a lot of people might say, well Doctor Who's the same. It's been going on for like 50 years. I know it had its like, 16-year break um, during, like, the 80s to the, the early 90s. Um, but it's been on for, like, 53 years, you know what I mean? The difference is, is with the Doctor, Doctor Who, the Doctor, he regenerates 
over time. So obviously, even though you get a new actor, it kind of, even though it's the same thing, it's it kind of changes it, you know what I mean? Um, because the original idea of Doctor Who never even had that, you know what I mean? Basically, what happened was uh, William Hartnell was was so badly ill, they wanted to continue it on, but they said, well, we cannot have Doctor Who without Doctor Who. So they thought about the regeneration idea, and it worked, you know what I mean? It's kind of gone a bit, you know, over, over the board, over, over the top in these past few years, but it was a great idea to save the show, because without that regeneration idea, Doctor Who would no longer be here, you know what I mean? And that is a thing about it. Um... But that's what kind of scares me a Big Bang Theory. I think season 12 should really be the last one. And, and I'm being honest. I think season 12 should really be the last one. You know, give it a good ending and then move on. But they're not going to do that. If, especially when the program is still going really, really strong. Um, and I feel it will end up being like that. Where it ends up being like milked up. Like season 15, you know what I mean? Um, when season 15 comes out and they're still doing the same stuff over and over and over again. I think that's what's what kind of scares me with Big Bang Theory. I love the program; it's absolutely amazing, but it scares me. It really, really does. So, um, anyway, I just want to say, uh, you know, thank you very much for watching I, uh, this video and stuff. Um, I know it's a little bit different and stuff, but um, I just want to say thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, but before I finish, um, one thing I meant to say was it the previous video was. I forgot to mention about Ubisoft's uh, presentation, so I wrote it in the previous video um, at the comments. Uh, so I just wanted to remind you that. Uh, so I just want to say uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, uh, stay catched up to my next video, which will be uploaded um, this Tuesday coming. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching, and see you later. Bye.